Okay, I'd like to talk about homework six. So homework six has essentially two functions. One is uh, update, one is search. So um, for the update is essentially, I try to provide a, um, 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 a particular um, uh, JSON and then it will update the server side and server will save a permanent copy of that. And for search, now the, the difference, let me actually show you an example about a different uh, update. Let me actually go to my directory that I have all the, all the posts. Okay. So if you look at here, I have a bunch of uh, server that's actually um, uh, logging. If you look at the post. Can you share your screen too? Oh, yes. That's important. <laughs> Can you see my screen now? Yeah. Okay. So let's actually take a look at one of the posts. I will use this one. I just pick one from the post that already been updated. So if you take a look at the post, the, the difference between uh, um, the, the post that you actually developed for homework five and this post here, that now this post has what we call the key. Let me show you where the key is. You don't need to worry about history, by the way. But here is something which I want you to see. So you don't need to worry about history, but you can see that there is a key. So you can actually provide an array of key that's actually associated with this post. So this keywords is essentially you can use, um, you associate, this is just another, another JSON pair that the, uh, sorry, another key value pair. The key is actually the word keys. And then the, um, the value part about the JSON is essentially an object that has a count and the data, which is an array. And then you can see that this particular um, um, post that you can search this post with this eight different keywords. Okay, so that, that's the idea that for you to be able to using this extra piece of information that for you to actually identify matching the post with the search keyword. So in order to do that, we actually also need to change another thing, which is the difference between the post H that you had for your homework five and the new post. This, by the way, will be reference implementation provided for you. Is that now I have a extra parameter is called STT vector, again, this is a vector template, which has a data structure called OKEY, which is a vector and the name is key. So essentially we are storing, we are parsing this uh, new extra information in the posts. So now when you do the search that you will be able to uh, find that out, how to uh, get to that, okay? so. Um, the, the way you need to do is that you can imagine that um, the, the only place that, oh, okay, there are two places you need to do. One place you need to modify the dump J. So your dump J will actually dump the key itself as well. And the other thing is the J dump, that you need to modify the J dump in such that your J dump will be able to include the keys to in, the, in this new post uh, data structure. Okay, so that's one perspective is that for this homework assignment, we're adding a new attribute called keys. And again, this is just like an array. It's, it's exactly the same like the links, action, reaction, and the comment, but instead it's just store an array of key for you to uh, polish your value. And I want to just take a look at the O key. What is O key? So this is the OK, this is a new file. I will also give it to you that I define this variable called a new class called OK. And what is OK? The OK of course has a one element, which is the string of the key. 
but it also has a, I mean, this part you can decide. If you want to change the design, that's perfectly okay with me. But the thing is that what you need to do is that you need to, I mean, what you need to do is that you have to find a way to link the keyword to the post. And this is how I do it. I create the O key is each of this represent a particular keyword. And each of the keywords, I actually have um, an array of the posts that that's actually uh, have this keyword. And therefore, when you do the search, I would just need to find this keyword and then immediately I can pull out all the posts that um, you need to find out. So you don't have to do the following, but I am going to show you what I did. In fact, this O key need to be uh, persistent. Mean, means that if you shut down the machine, that the key can uh, still be retrievable after you, your program terminate. So in my implementation, I actually make a persistent means that I actually store a file get the O key. So let me actually show you why it is. So you can see that I have a directory called O key under the server directory. By the way, now you can see that I have a server directory. If you go to your O key directory, sorry, you can see that every single keyword, I actually have a file. For example, uh, let me just put, put uh, one, one particular O key. So Z, Z, S, J is actually the keyword. So by the way, where do I get this keyword? The spring 2020 ECF36B student, they actually uh, 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 generate this keyword in their posts. So when they submit it, they actually can add any kind of keyword and the server just keep uh, getting large and larger. Eventually I got about 400,000 keywords. So I have about 400,000 O key file over here, but you don't have to worry about that. For this one, you just need to handle your program between the client and the server. So take a look at what this is. So in the O key directory, that it has only one entry. That means there are two posts that has this particular keyword ZSJ. One post is this one. You see that this is a this is uh, basically profile ID and the post ID. So, okay, I can actually take a look at this, copy and paste this one. So this is called ZSJ. Let's actually go to the post directory. So, wait a minute, I don't have that? That's not right. Oh, no, 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 This is, I, I, I this one, this one. Yes, I do have this file called post with the uh, post ID, okay? So with this one, so let me see what it is. You can see this post and where's the key? Ah, here, you see that the key? One of the key is a ZSJ, okay? So essentially you can see that the key is tracking which posts that have this, this, uh, um, uh, this particular key string, and yet the, the post itself is remember all the string. So essentially this is a key and the post relationship is help us to do the search. Okay, so that's why now we go back here. Wait a minute, where's my file? Yeah, this file is called okey.h is this design. Um, it is called class Oki and then um, um, uh, post star posts and, and doing things like that. So this is a key and a vector of posts. Okay, so this is a data structure. All right, here is some uh, um, C++ instruction I want to tell you. Is that now this is a very interesting because I have a two data structure I want to show you. One is called post star H. And post.h has a uh, attribute, it's going to using this class called O key. And, and inside the O key, that it needs to access to post. So essentially, the definition of the class are recursive to each other. Because which one should go first? This is like exactly like a chicken and egg, because O key is using post, and post is using O key. So this is one of the reason I actually use pointer in this case, because if you don't use pointer, 
it needs to calculate the memory, but the thing is that they're actually depending on each other and we're into trouble. So therefore, in this case, I actually use key. Uh, you see that I'm using pointer, O key pointer, and here I use post pointer because pointer for this machine is always eight byte. And therefore, uh, the compiler will be able to calculate how big this object is. But how do I uh, deal with this uh, recursive uh, uh, class definition problem? You see that I actually have to put these things here. I actually have to include post.h, but then I actually just say class post, like here, and without uh, doing anything. And also, I have to do this as well. In the O key, I say include O key dot H, and then I say class O key. Okay, so essentially I'm declaring this class without given the specific. And the C++ compiler will know that, okay, this one is, you're actually having a class, but I don't know why it is, but it's okay. As long as you're using the pointer format to that class, which I not yet know the size of the class, then the definition is okay. So this is a, a, a hack in C++ when you need to deal with this kind of, uh, uh, it's almost like a recursive definition of two different class and they're actually referenced to each other, okay? All right, so this, this is just an example for you to know that in order for me to handle the search, I actually need to uh, deal with the, the keywords and the posts issue. Okay, all right, so now I want to talk a little bit about the update, okay, update. So what is the update? So as I show you in the slide, update is essentially trying to um, send a JSON, a post to the server, and the server need to get that value and put that into uh, a, a permanent directory. So this I'm going to show you using a, a clean, implementation so then you will see that uh, what is the status so I'm going to my server uh, I'm going to remove everything uh, let me see post I'm going to remove star so I don't have anything okay do I have anything in okay okay I already removed it I'm going to remove all the lock you will see the reference implementation. I actually log a lot of information so we can um, 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 handle a bunch of things. I don't think I have JSONs here anymore. I don't have message. I don't think those things are needed for, for this homework assignment, but I just create, always create four directory, one for JSON, one for message, one for OK, and one for post, okay? And I'm gonna do that in the client side as well, let's see. Oh, I just killed the server. Sorry about that. Let me go to the posts. Okay, I have nothing here. That's good. Okay, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, run the, let me first just make a clean, make. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to first run the program, then I'm going through the HW5 uh, um, update.cpp. The implementation that you really need to implement is HW5, uh, HW6 server.cpp. But I will go over very quickly about HW6 update because that's the reference implementation you will be using. Okay, so I'm going to my client. Okay, so look at the server side. Before anything happened, just tell you that there is nothing in the post directory. So I'm going to run HW5 update. Six update, sorry. 
So this is take only one uh, parameter, which is the parameter of the, the post. Okay, the posts, what is the post? Let me actually just um, show you again what is the post looks like. So a post, it looks like exactly what you did for homework assignment number five. So you can see that it's just like this format, action, comments, whatever, those, those sections, okay? And now I'm going to run this post using update. Okay, ooh. Oh, I didn't run the server, that's why. So the server is HW6 server. You will get the implementation, you'll get the reference implementation for the HW6 server. Okay, I'm actually uh, start the server uh, and then I'm going to run the update. Okay, so it basically send over here. The only thing I want you to know is that besides setting up that if you go to the posts, you can see that now this post has been stored in the server side as well. So essentially the post was parsed and it was actually insert over there. So that's, that's the, the things that the um, update is supposed to do. So update is supposed to, on the server side, is supposed to do two things. The number one is to store a, uh, a copy in the, um, in the server side. And the other things that you need to do is just like what I showed you earlier here, is that, um, that you actually will store a file for each of the keywords that you found in the post you just received. And then you kind of store the information about the keyword. So later uh, when the search for a keyword coming in, that you will be able to get to those uh, uh, the post that's associated with that keyword. And for the search, just to let you know that there is a search clause. Basically the search clause is like this. You are submitting this as a search. So for the search function, it's a keyword and uh, whatever string that you use. For example, I want to search something for Kira and then that's, that's the post you're going to get. For example, when you do Kira, I'm actually getting this one, this one back. You can see that this, this is another post and this, this post has this four keyword, AMG, GTR, Kira, and L. They, they have this four keyword that you can get. So when you get it from the uh, search is an array of posts that all have this keyword. So that's the, that's the search function that you have. Okay, I'm going to pause for a moment. Uh, any question? about what I just show you. Uh, professor. Yes. So Gian? we need to we need to update our post implementation so that it can handle the keys, right? When we use uh, JDEM. Um in my implementation the key was actually uh, modified in the uh, JDUM itself in post.cpp. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we, you don't need to modify HW5. Uh, let me actually show you my HW5 update, okay? Okay, thank you. This will be included in your um, reference implementation. So, okay, so here is just, just uh, this is the basically a, a some kind of design plan. I left it there for what we need to do, but you don't have to look at that. This is like an explanation about how this works. But um, the, the program really works is that I'm actually trying to read uh, the, the file, the, the, uh, the post file, which is a JSON. So actually I call a function called my file to JSON. Okay, this facility, you actually know this code already in your, in your program. It's just right now I 
I make everything to be a function, so you the code looks looks much cleaner. And you you will be really familiar with this part of code. This is you actually already saw that when you do uh, HW five uh, um, HW five sorry HW five uh, merge and HW five um, produce is essentially just call my post pointer. You create a new post and then you just call my post pointer to JDOM. You put that. Um, uh, JSON uh, object into that, and that should give you uh, the the all the things related to posts as well as the the posts. Sorry, the the key itself. So okay, so now showing this. I mean, after you've done this, you're just doing the the JSON RPC. You are going to send this to. Let me see. Where do I do this? Yeah, here. You see, I do a my client the update to call that my post pointer dump j to style string and call the my client the update function. Okay, so that the 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 code for update is actually quite simple, right? You just convert the the file into a a JSON, sorry, a post, and then you just send that post to the to the remote place. Okay, and then you actually will get some kind of result. Okay, that's that's HW5 uh, update. All right, so there are three things that you need to work on for homework assignment number six. Let me actually just write it here. So this is for fall 2020 BCF 36B uh, homework six. So there are three things you need to do. The first things that you need to update if you use the reference implementation, you need to update this time. It's the the post j dump function and dump j function in post dot cpp related to uh, related to okay. Okay, so essentially this hasn't been done. For the implementation, so you are going to uh, you're going to receive the post.cpp just like you got from uh, homework assignment number five. They're exactly the same, but now you need to add this jdump and dump j into that that portion, and then you will be able to handle the the okay related stuff. Okay, and the second thing you need to do is that now you're going to implement the HW6 server.cpp, which I can show you very quickly how does it looks like. Let me first show you that for HW6, uh, this is the, the, the JSON RPC uh, function, uh, function declaration. There are two functions, one is called update, one is called search, you will get that. And the parameter is updating JSON, you put the post JSON, and the other one, the search class, which is the search JSON. So they, they both take only one JSON and with this kind of format. Okay, so that's, that's, that's the uh, JSON RPC. And so you need to modify the HW6 server.cpp in the following sense. So you take that, you're still using your RPC stuff, but now let me show you very briefly about HW6 server.cpp. So you can see that this is really similar to your homework assignment number three, but now we're actually kind of adding your homework assignment number three and number five together, which you have all the JSON RPC declaration, but now you actually declare that this is, um, you need to include HW6 server.h, and you need to include the, uh, the post.h because you're dealing with the post. Um, and what you need to decide is how you're going to store the post. So I use, in the reference implementation, you will see that I'm actually using uh, another template called map. And using that map to connect the keyword with the post pointer. So that's why it's called uh, post map. And, and then in the program, you can see that this is a standard way of doing uh, the JSON RPC, I have a two function, one is called update, one is called search, and this is a constructor. And I will include this function called check. I will tell you what is the check uh, is doing. 
But um, here is the the, um, the the update function. It's just like this. I will just show you a little bit at the beginning. It's essentially receiving the update as an updating JSON. And within the update JSON, let me actually show you just the beginning. So after I did the parsing, after I did the ID part, I want to show you until I can do this function. This is only check the ID part. Uh, this, by the way, this part will be stay in the in the reference implementation. Okay. Um, and with with okay, I'm going to do this part here. And then until I actually found everything in the update, if I couldn't find anything, means that this is a new, uh, or this is a file I need to do the merge. And then I would just call, you see that I'm just called jdump. Okay, I would call the jdump, and then I would be able to uh, get that object, and then I would be able to save it, do more processing on the, on the update part. Okay, I mean, um, I mentioned that in for your homework assignment number six, you don't need to, uh, um, do the, um, the, the permanent object, it means that you don't have to save it in the file. That's a, that's a good feature for you to have. But if your update and your search will be able to handle when you do the update is actually keep it in the memory. And when you do search, you will be able to search using the, the, the keyword that's included in the post to retrieve that object. That will be sufficient for for homework for your homework assignment number six. Okay. All right. Any other question? I'm going to actually continue because I'm time is running out. I'm actually going to continue to show you more detail um, about the search. Yes, go I, ahead. Sorry, uh, I just want to ask a quick question, sure. um, but it's not related to this. Okay. Do you do you mind if I stop recording and then we can handle your question? Will that be okay? Well, you would, you'd be able to answer it in like a second. And it's no, really I, I just, everybody. No, I, I just want to, okay. uh, it's, let me ask you, if this related homework six? Uh, it's related to this, uh, when small programs are due. Okay, so I, I, I'll, I'll not include in this in this recording, okay? <laughs> I want to just finish recording, I will answer your question immediately, okay? All right. Is there um, any other professor, question? Yeah, I had a question. Sure. Do you have a list ahead. of videos that you recommend we look over for homework six? Yes, I will. I will. I will send that. Send that out. Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Professor, so let, let me. Any any more question for homework have, six before I pause recording? I have one more question. Uh, mm -hmm. So that um, post map, is that initialized when like based on the post files we have or how do we initialize the post map oh the post map you can you can just uh, declare it and uh, I mean let me see how do I declare it let me go back if you look at the post map post map is itself is just uh, a, a map that's actually when you do when you say declare like this is a post map it's already uh, it's already declared it's already uh, being being allocated the memory for that post map, and then you can just start using it. Start using it means that you can insert a a string and uh, a pointer. So essentially, each of the element in the map has two uh, element. The first one is what we call the key. The second element is a any data structure you would like to have. So this is why that's why it's called template. So that's why um, yeah. when you declare like this, it's already yeah. available. Uh, yeah, Professor, I mean, my, my question was more like, uh, do we populate it when we start the server? Or? No, you don't need to populate the server. It's whenever somebody do the update. There's oh, that's when update. we insert to the, to the, to the map. Post map, right. Okay, exactly. okay. When you receive the update, you will insert that uh, new post and keyword into the post map. All right, all right, so, yeah. okay. All yeah. right, thank you. Then, then you can search, right? That's essentially post map is your, your core data structure for the search engine. But what, what if we have the posts as files and they're not yet uh, inside of the, of, of the map? 
right. Uh, so, so what, what, um, um, what, what, what I did is that I actually loaded using the, the, the O key. I'm actually using the O key file to actually load them in, but you don't have to do that. This is just an option for you to consider to do that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's why I have the O key directory that keep all the, uh, the post map in a persistent way. But if you only handle the online version, then you don't even need the O key directory. Okay. okay, so I'm going to stop. Okay, this. okay, understand. Uh, Thank you. Okay.